All right, this was a requested uh, video. Uh, a lot of people were asking me, is there an easier way to check the codes on your ECU on your car? And I figured, why not make a video of it? Um, the most common and easiest to use would be Nissan Data Scan. Uh, it's not expensive. I actually don't know what the price is on it, but uh, you can buy a consult cable for they range from twenty five dollars here and there when you can find them uh, to ninety four dollars if you get them from um, uh, Nistune. I think sells a cable, and there's a couple other Blitz. I think is one, but uh, honestly. An amp, there's one on Amazon for $20, $25, It'll do the same thing. I'm actually using one now that I got from uh, Amazon to try it out to see its quality because I have a, an old Blitz one. Uh, I'm not sure how easy it is to get these days. But um, anyway, uh, from a previous video, the ECU that I have in front of me is a KA24 DET I've been working on. It's out of the car. Uh, powered up ready to go so it's plugged in and uh, all you have to do is hit connect um, theoretically if it was in a car Nissan data scan works for a variety and a wide range of cars this happens to be data scan one for the 14 pin um, 89 to 96 uh, pre OBD2 so if you have a uh, S14s, early S14s, uh, S13s with dual cams, this will work for you. Um, your plug is on your left kick panel by the driver's side. So once you get the cable, you can plug it in, hook up to a laptop. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on how to set it up, once you download this, I can make a quick video on what drivers you need to download and a quick walkthrough on how to do it. But uh, I'm going to show you a couple quick features on Nissan Data Scan that are worth mentioning. Uh, it does support HICUS, uh, airbags if you have airbag diagnostics. Um, air fuel ratios on here if you have a wide band hooked up. Um, if it was plugged in, these gauges would all be active and running, depending on what you have them set for. Um, let's connect and it might take a second all right it's connected to the computer we can do an active test uh, it can view ROM data and map tracing uh, I haven't used a feature if, I don't think it has an editor built into it I, don't, I wouldn't think it would um, address active test display data is what you just saw it can data log if you need it to and save it to wherever you need to if you want to view it and it can record lots of things uh, you just check what you want done and then click start um, another one is self self diagnostics this is one that most people would most likely buy this for to use on their cars um, I've used it on RB's SR's KA's um, code 55 no faults this code is good although the ECU is out of the car you're not going to have codes on it um, it has to be in the car so it can read everything um, if they had it would have code uh, 11 10 uh, I think 25 you know it not it'll even tell you what it is knock sensor water temp sensor you know O2 sensor and you can just click reset and it would erase all the codes clearing it and then you would be good to go um, dashboard some of you guys don't have a working speedometer when you do a swap uh, RPM tack so this is pretty neat these would all be moving um, they do support Android and I think Windows operating tablets I'm not 100% sure it's worth looking into but uh, I'm pretty sure they do because I recently saw a guy in town with uh, a Windows doubled in radio in his car and he had data scan running on it for gauges since 
I helped him with a swap a while ago, and he just didn't want to hook up a speedometer attack or any gauge for that matter. He didn't care. But, you know, what does it matter when you have all these on a little display in front of you? Um, time trials, trip computer. It's pretty neat. It's pretty accurate. I've used it a couple times. It's kind of fun to use. Um, log analyzer. Give you bar, a line graph on everything currently as you're going. Um, it's actually pretty neat. The dashboard we just showed you. Um, go to classic gauges. You can change the color of the gauges, which suits you best. Um, display ECM. Here is how you set your gauges, what you want them to be shown. Gauge 1, RPM, voltage, TPS. Um, a good thing about this program is when you're installing a TPS or you're doing a couple little tune-ups here and there, or if your idle's high, that could be a TPS sensor. Uh, most people usually use a uh, multimeter, but that's a pain in the ass. So you hook up data scan, set up your TPS sensor, and it will read you the voltage that you're currently at. So most of these consult cables you get are long enough where you can uh, plug it into the car, or run the laptop to the front of the car, and adjust while looking at the computer monitor so you get an exact uh, 0.5 uh, voltage. Uh, water temp, battery voltage, uh, great way to know if your alternator is keeping up or not. Injector timing, ignition timing, fuel base, uh, air fuel base self learn. Not sure that would work. That's probably for more modern vehicles. I've never used it before. Um, duty cycle, EGR, which I'm pretty sure K's don't have an EGR temp sensor. And uh, it continues. You can fill up this whole thing and click save, and it'll show you all of them. Um, dashboard ECM. Obviously, this is what the guy had up. You know, select your RPM and the speedometer if you really care about it. Uh, set an alert and speed. Uh, you drive a 240, who cares? And uh, parameter settings, RPM. show you all of it oh cool all right all right uh, tire size current size it'll adjust your speed I uh, can't save it because the speed sensor is mechanical although I've never really messed with it before uh, this is probably for the program itself so it can actually calculate the trip meter and everything accurately uh, we are a four cylinder injector size 270 would be stock K, uh, SR injectors, uh, and a KA, and you would save it, you know, 205.55, that's some garbage, let's run some 225s, 40, 18, modern gauges, Fahrenheit, uh, speedometer, timing correction, and, uh, oh, look at them gauges, yikes. 12.8 volts, that power supply, injector, everything would be currently running. Um, also, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but I have done it. I have um, unplugged the TPS and set my distributor timing when it was running using this method here, and you would find it and it would adjust as you move the distributor. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate compared to a timing light, but I've used it and it worked pretty well. Um, data logging active tests active tests is oh shoot I close the active test a great way to mm, troubleshoot if you're having issues engine temperature value pretty much what this is telling the ECU a certain value and ignoring the current value it's getting from the motor uh, you can increase timing and uh, retard it and advance it and if you click start it would uh, do it and show you uh, air fuel EGR solenoid uh, 
v VCT uh, fuel pump. Now, I've messed with a friend before. His engine was running. Everything was good. I hit the off and start button, and it turned off his fuel pump, and the engine shut off, which kind of scared him. It was one of those ha-ha moments, but um, you can manually turn cylinders off and uh, find out, you know, if you have a dead cylinder, turn it off, and it'll help you base idle. Um, Self-learn. don't think our computers can handle that. But uh, the program itself is pretty neat. Um, airbag. Um, Hikus display. It can display Hikus. Data logging. Um, not the activated version, so. This is just a quick run through. Uh, ROM data that'll pull it off the ECU. Uh, map tracing, pretty neat. F13 timing, F13 fuel, and it would fill out as it's running, which is super neat. And uh, that's actually pretty neat. Never really noticed it loaded the whole thing. But uh, hope you guys appreciate this video. Uh, I enjoy making videos for people who have questions or looking for some uh, direction where to go and uh, might make one on this tune if people want it to see before they purchase it I think there's a trial version of it but you know, I can walk you through it a little bit more and show you some cool things about it and uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe and it lets me know if I'm not just making these for the hell of it. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next one.